Welcome to the world of India's tigers, majestic creatures that hold immense significance in India's ecosystem and cultural heritage. In this video, we will explore the challenges faced by tigers and their declining population. Tigers play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of India's ecosystems. They regulate prey population, prevent overgrazing, and support the intricate web of life in the forests they inhabit. India's diverse landscapes provide unique habitats for tigers, from the Himalayas to the rainforest and grasslands. Tigers are apex predators vital for maintaining healthy ecosystem and ensuring genetic diversity. However, tigers face significant threats including habitat loss due to deforestation and urbanization, poaching for illegal wildlife trade, and human-wildlife conflict. Despite these challenges, there is hope. Join us in the following chapters as we explore India's remarkable efforts to protect and restore tiger population, and the inspiring individuals making a difference in tiger conservation. For centuries, India's forests were the domain of majestic tigers roaming fiercely across vast expanses of wilderness. Tigers were revered and celebrated in Indian culture, finding their place in ancient scriptures, folklore, and art. However, the arrival of colonial powers in India brought profound changes to its landscapes and wildlife. Rapid deforestation driven by timber extraction, agriculture, and infrastructure development resulted in the loss and fragmentation of tiger habitats. During the British Raj, Tigers were hunted extensively for sports, with colonial rulers and aristocracy indulging in trophy hunting. With India gaining independence in 1947, a new era of wildlife conservation began to take shape. Visionary leaders recognized the need to protect and conserve India's rich biodiversity, including these iconic tigers. One of the pioneers of tiger conservation in India was the legendary naturalist Jim Corbett. His insightful writings and efforts to protect tigers from poaching brought global attention to the plight of these magnificent creatures. In response to the alarming decline of tiger population, India launched a groundbreaking initiative in 1973 called Project. It was a visionary program aimed at protecting tiger habitats, controlling poaching, and raising awareness about the importance of conservation. Under Project Tiger, several tiger reserves and protected areas were established throughout India. These dedicated zones provided safe havens for tigers and enabled their population to recover. However, despite these conservation efforts, tigers continued to face significant challenges. Rampant poaching for the illegal wildlife trade, driven by the demand for tiger parts, posed a severe threat to their survival. Human wildlife conflicts also emerged as a consequence of the shrinking habitats and the encroachment of human settlements. The primary objective of Project Tiger was to ensure the survival of tigers and their habitats through a comprehensive approach. At the helm of Project Tiger were remarkable individuals who dedicated their expertise and passion to save India's tigers. Dr. Karan Singh, the then Minister of Environment and Forests, played a pivotal role in conceptualizing and launching this ambitious program. Another key figure was Melinda Wright, a wildlife conservationist and photographer who witnessed firsthand the declining tiger population and became a driving force behind Project Tiger's implementation. It focused on habitat preservation, implementing anti-poaching measures, scientific research and monitoring, and community involvement. Tiger reserves and protected areas became the backbone of Project Tiger. These designated zones provided safe havens for tigers, ensuring the protection of their habitats and prey species. Today, India boards an impressive network of over 50 tiger reserves. To combat the threat of poaching, Project Tiger established specialized anti-poaching units equipped with trained personnel and model surveillance systems. This led to a significant reduction in poaching incidents and dismantling of illegal wildlife trade networks. Scientific research and monitoring played a crucial role in understanding tiger behavior, habitat suitability, and population dynamics. It involved methods such as camera trapping, DNA analysis, and habitat assessment to gather valuable insights for conservation planning. Recognizing the importance of local communities, Project Tiger actively engaged them in conservation efforts. It promoted suitable livelihood options, encouraged ecotourism initiatives, and fostered awareness about the value of tigers and their habitats. From a mere handful of tigers, India's tiger population has rebounded to over 2,500, making it the largest population of wild tigers in the world. This remarkable success is a testament to the collaborative efforts of government agencies, conservationists, local communities, and countless individuals. India's tiger reserves are diverse and expansive, encompassing a range of ecosystems from dense forest and grassland to wetlands and mountains. These reserves provide a secure home for tigers and their prey species. Let's take a closer look at some of the major tiger reserves in India and their significance in providing suitable homes for tigers. Bandipur Tiger Reserve, located in Karnataka, is known for its rich biodiversity and dense forests. Kaziranga Tiger Reserve is renowned for its vast grassland and wetlands. 
It serves as a crucial habitat for both tigers and the endangered Indian rhinoceros. The Sundarban National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a unique tiger habitat located in the mangrove forest of West Bengal. Afforestation programs have been instrumental in restoring degraded habitats and creating new corridors for tigers. These efforts help in expanding the range and ensuring genetic connectivity between populations. Restoration of corridors is particularly important as it allows tigers to move between fragmented habitats, reducing the risk of inbreeding and promoting genetic diversity. Engaging in local communities in habitat management is essential. Their involvement in activities such as fire prevention, invasive species control, and sustainable resource use helps maintaining healthy ecosystem. Rampant poaching has decimated tiger population, fueled by the demand for tiger parts and illegal wildlife trade. Tigers are hunted for their skins, bones, and other body parts, which are sought after for their supposed miracle and ornamental value. The Wildlife Protection Act of 1972 provides the legal framework for the protection of wildlife including tigers. Wildlife law enforcement agencies such as forest departments and specialized units work tirelessly to enforce these laws and apprehend poachers. Their dedication and vigilance are essential in deterring wildlife crime. India has established dedicated task forces and initiatives to address the poaching crisis and illegal trade in tiger parts. Specialized anti-poaching units, often called Tiger Protection Forces, have been formed with Tiger Reserves. These units comprise well-trained personnel equipped with modern surveillance technology such as camera traps and drones to track and intercept poachers. Efforts also extend to intelligence gathering and wildlife crime investigations. Undercover operations and collaboration with law enforcement agencies at regional, national and international levels help in dismantling illegal wildlife trade networks. Community participation plays a crucial role in anti-poaching efforts. Local communities living near tiger habitats act as eyes and ears on the ground, reporting suspicious activities and cooperating with law enforcement agencies. Awareness camps are conducted to educate communities about the importance of tigers and the devastating impact of poaching. These campaigns emphasize the value of wildlife conservation and foster a sense of pride and responsibility among the local population. Camera traps have revolutionized wildlife monitoring. These motion-activated devices capture images and videos of tigers and other wildlife, providing crucial data on their abundance, distribution, and movement patterns. Satellite imagery plays a vital role in habitat mapping and monitoring. High-resolution satellite images help identify suitable tiger habitats, assess habitat quality, and detect changes. DNA analysis has emerged as a powerful tool in tiger conservation. Radio collars, equipped with GPS technology, enable researchers to track tiger movements in real time. This information helps understand home range sizes, identify critical corridors, and study interaction between tigers and their habitats. Scientific monitoring of tiger population is essential for conservation planning and decision making. By systematically collecting and analyzing data, researchers can assess population trends, identify potential threats, and evaluate the effectiveness of conservation interventions. Behavioral studies provide insights to the social structure, territorial behavior, and reproductive patterns of tigers. This knowledge helps in developing strategies for tiger conservation, including habitat management and human-wildlife conflict mitigation. In a study, researchers used camera traps and genetic analysis to estimate the tiger population in a particular reserve. The findings informed conservation efforts, leading to increased protection measures and habitat restoration. This information guided conservationists in advocating for preservation of these corridors and the establishment of wildlife corridors. Promoting coexistence is important because tigers and humans often share habitats. It is necessary to ensure the safety of both communities and tigers while minimizing conflicts. To mitigate human-wildlife conflicts, several measures have been implemented in tiger conservation areas. These measures aim to minimize the risk to human lives and livelihood while protecting tigers and their habitats. One approach is the creation of wildlife corridors and buffer zones. Electric fences have proven effective in protecting agricultural land and livestock from tiger predation. These fences act as a deterrent, preventing tigers from entering human populated areas. Innovative approaches have also emerged to foster harmonious relationship between humans and tigers. Community-based conservation initiatives involve engaging local communities in conservation activities. Ecotourism initiatives have gained popularity, offering opportunities for tourists to visit tiger reserves responsibly. Income generated from ecotourism benefits local communities and provides an incentive for their involvement in tiger conservation. In some cases, village relocation projects have been undertaken. This approach protects both human lives and tigers while allowing their habitats to remain undisturbed. Community-led conservation efforts have yielded positive outcomes. 
by involving local communities in patrolling, monitoring and protecting tigers' habitats. These initiatives have strengthened the bond between humans and tigers. Responsible tourism practices near tiger reserves are crucial to ensure the well-being of both tigers and visitors. Let's delve into some key aspects of responsible wildlife tourism. Minimizing the disturbance is essential. Tour operators and visitors should follow guidelines and maintain respectful distance from tigers and other wildlife. This reduces stress on the animals and allows them to carry out their natural behaviors undisturbed. Trained guides and naturalists play a vital role in responsible wildlife tourism. Their expertise helps to educate visitors about tigers, their conservation needs, and the importance of preserving their habitat. Waste management and sustainable practices are crucial in minimizing the environmental impact of tourism. Visitors should adhere to strict littering policies, use eco-friendly products, and support accommodation that follows sustainable practices. These establishments often use renewable energy sources, practice water conservation, and support local communities. Responsible wildlife tourism not only support tiger conservation but also brings significant economic benefits to local communities. Wildlife tourism generates employment opportunities, creating jobs in various sectors such as hospitality, guiding, and transportation. Local communities can actively participate in conservation efforts and gain a direct stake in protecting tigers and their habitats. Revenue generated from wildlife tourism can be reinvested in community development projects including healthcare, education and infrastructure. These initiatives improve the quality of life for local residents and strengthen their support for conservation. India's Tiger Conservation Program has witnessed remarkable achievement. The implementation of Project Tiger in 1973 marked a turning point leading to the recovery of tiger population from a critical state. From a mere handful of tigers, the number have risen to 2500 making India the stronghold of global tiger conservation. Protected areas and tiger reserves have played a vital role in providing suitable habitats and ensuring safety of tigers. These areas have become stronghold for tigers, serving as breeding grounds and safe havens for their population. Despite the progress, several challenges remain on the path to sustaining the tiger population. Habitat fragmentation due to human activities poses significant threat to tiger population. Fragmented habitats limit the movement of tigers, leading to genetic isolation and increased vulnerability to local extinctions. Illegal wildlife trade and demand for tiger parts persist, driven by misguided beliefs and illegal markets. The need to combat poaching and dismantle the illegal trade network remained critical. To secure the future of tigers, it's essential to set ambiguous goals and work collectively towards the achievement. Collaboration among government agencies, conservation organizations, local communities and the public is crucial. We need to strengthen partnership, share knowledge, and coordinate efforts to address the remaining challenges. Restoring and enhancing tiger habitats, including afforestation and establishing wildlife corridors, is vital to ensure the long-term survival of tigers. These initiatives will provide the space and connectivity necessary for healthy tiger population. Now this is the time for action. We must rally together to support and sustain India's tiger population. By raising awareness, supporting conservation organizations and advocating for stronger policies and enforcements, we can make a difference. Let us carry forward the torch of conservation fueled by the knowledge and experience shared in this video. Together we can ensure that tigers not only survive but can thrive in the world. The future of tigers in India depends on our collective efforts. Let us cherish and protect these magnificent creatures, preserving their place in our natural heritage for future generations to come. Together, let's make a difference and secure a future where tigers continue to roam the landscapes of India, embodying the spirit of our shared commitment to conservation. Thank you so much for watching this video.